Greetings everyone. I thought it would be nice to share this oracle deck that I have. It's the Druid Plant Oracle. Now I use this deck about about once a month, sometimes more if I feel like it's calling to me or or if I have a specific herbal thing that I'm thinking about. I think this deck um, really could use to see a lot more love. I, I, I know a few people have it. But I think a lot more people just aren't even aware of it. If you love herbs and working with herbs and are interested in learning more about herbs, this is a really great um, this is a really great oracle deck. The back of the cards look like this, and <clears throat> the book itself is. Um, pretty good. It's pretty nice. It doesn't just give you the meanings of the cards. It also gives you um, Gaelic names, um, some historical information on the uses of the plants with the um, Druids and people in England and Ireland and Scotland. Uh, so I pulled out a few cards that I thought you might be interested in seeing. Here we have Mugwort. Here we have Yarrow. This is Barrage. Zoom in so you can see some of the detail. It's really nice. This one is Woad. I think a lot of people are historically familiar with Woad, but don't really use it that much in modern times, but see all the detail, see the carvings and the spear. This one is puffball, which is a type of fungus or mushroom. And when you read about this card, it's really quite interesting. This has come up in a few readings I've done, not just for myself, one for my daughter as well. Here we have Mandrake. You can see the detail of the coins up front there. Lovely Mandrake. Here we have Nettle. I think all of the cards are lovely. I love the artwork and then if you get into the book you really get even a lot more out of each card. Here we have Poppy. And here we have Juniper. Um, I did mark a couple things to share in the book. Here we have Ladies Mantle, which I have an affection for Ladies Mantle. And I wanted to show that um, in the book you'll get extra bits and pieces. And um, it does have reversed meanings. And then in these green boxes, like here it says the alchemical chalice, it really gives you some interesting background and um, extra bits and pieces of information, which I really love that. And a few more I thought I'd show you. This one is called The Banes. Zoom in on this. See the moon. Okay. And the veins. Let's pause here so you can see what they are about. 
wolfsbane, hemlock, and henbane. And let's see, the next one I wanted to share is the Guardians. I love to get this card. The Guardians, which are a trio of Elder, Hawthorne, and Birch. And here again, I'll show you how you get little extra bits and pieces of information in the book and then you have a, nice pictures you have immediate meanings if you don't want to read everything as well so for the guardians upright would be immunity strength and longevity and then you can see the reverse there and the last one I thought would be really nice to share is the restorers I love getting this card as well. I think she is just lovely there. I love the setting. Sometimes I like to imagine that's me somewhere. <laughs> and here's a little bit on the restorers. So anyway, I thought I'd just do a quick little video. This is already up over six minutes. Uh, one last thing to show you here regarding this deck is you do get a nice, decent box that, that comes in. I keep the boxes. I don't keep my deck in the box, but I do keep the boxes um, for future if I move or something like that. And one final thing to share that I didn't share on my last video I made is this smoky quartz. I don't know. I want y'all to be able to see all the... Do you see that? I, get, it's, I hope it's hard to get all the details, but... Yeah. And it's a nice, big, palm-sized piece. Fills your hand up. Okay, so I just wanted to give that deck a little extra attention because I really love it. And I think if, um, if you're into herbs or druids or Celtic history or learning a little more about Gaelic, then you would really like this deck. I think it's um, worth having in a collection. Alright everybody, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.